we're working here with the handling system that the doors are closed all the time because we need the temperature in the machine that it's quite stable all the time because we're talking about uh, some microns in total uh, two microns plus minus about that length or maybe longer it depend on the slide version hello my friends and welcome back to germany and welcome back to index now this guy right here has been around all week long and i finally suckered him to be on camera because there is a lot going on in this man's head and we're going to talk the precision of the slides we have here at index but i'm gonna let dennis go into detail we have some parts behind us we have a machine to our left and your right we're going to actually move some parts today because we know how much you like when we interact with you as an audience so dennis we have three different segments here and what you're doing here in-house is one of the only places that do heat treat on your own is part of this process as well and also the precision i'm so excited to get into that as well as we run over there so first step here this is raw material what are we looking at yeah this is the rough ones that we got from our suppliers yeah um, you see our housings you see the slide and you can see here the rails as well, or one rail in the moment. The second step over here is a step in between. We have had milling, also milling and threading over here, and a little bit of, yeah, production over there at the rail. But well, Dennis, real quick, I'd like to just take a moment and describe because some of the audience out there knows exactly what we're doing. They have your machines. They're yes. excited to learn how it's made even. Yeah. And some people are going, well, what's a slide? Yeah. So can we describe as we're building this, what the slide actually means in your machine? Because a slide could be something I rode when I was a kid. Yeah. And it can also be something inside of your machine that creates incredible accuracy and yeah. highly precise, precise parts, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, the slides are uh, mounted later in our multi-spindles. Um, as you can see here, it's finally grinded, not only here on top, also the bottom below is very important for us. For our stability, we have had our heating department where we have been before. This body here has been there as well. And we have had, you can see the, the difference from here to here. It's coated finally. So, so once it once it goes through heat treat, it goes through coating, then you get it back and we're going to head over this direction, right? Yeah, exactly. So let's, let's take there. a walk, my friends. I want to show you some of the machines. And one thing I actually asked Dennis before we hit record, which I think is important to iterate, is we always try to get you really cool machining footage inside of these machines so you can see what's happening. Because we're talking about ultimate precision and highly, highly low microns, right? And I can't open this machine. You won't let me open this machine. There's no way we're getting a GoPro in this machine. And why is that? Yeah, I'm sorry for that, but this machine has to be closed. We're working here with the handling system that the doors are closed all the time because we need the temperature in the machine that it's quite stable all the time because we're talking about uh, some microns in total, uh, two microns plus minus about that length or maybe longer. It depends on the slide version. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason. Sorry, Tony, for no GoPro. It's inside. okay. You've said <laughs> yes a lot this week, and we yeah. definitely appreciate being to convey so many, so many messages to the audience. But th imagine that, my friends. Imagine that we don't even have the capability currently to throw a GoPro in here because precision is so important that opening the door, even just for a second, is going to change that accuracy. And that's what temperature does, not just in this process, but across the board when we're talking about cutting tools and being able to make these, these different types of components that we're making to high accuracy around the world. With that being said, my friend Dennis, what's going on here? And let's talk about how you actually reach that accuracy inside the machine. Yeah, we're having here the first process, that means we make the um, grinding here around the base, the top as well. Um, over there, you can see some finish ones. So this will be the first step on this machine, as I told you before. Mm -hmm. um, the next one will be that we put in the pair grinding. If you can come over here, you will see a little bit more in details in here. We bring our rails they are more or less finished we put it on the housing the housing is completely finished then we take a finished slide and put it 
on the counter spindle. This goes completely automatically. As I said to you, counter spindle, there will be the slide on the main spindle. Will, prepared, will be prepared this unit and this machine do automatically measure the height of the finished slide. Could you keep my microphone for Absolutely. a second? Absolutely. We measure the highness from here, here, backside as well. And the machine automatically measures also these two and these two calculate and grind it by their own. And the result for everyone who's watching, again, we'll get our camera guy to zoom in. And I highly recommend if you have an opportunity to swing by, I'm giving very little effort in doing this. It is just smooth sailing all the way through. And that's what this accuracy yeah. and precision does. Now, as the topic of precision, Ultimately, we're giving more life to the machine for decades, years and decades and decades to make sure that the customers buying these machines, investing in these machines, are not gonna have to worry about replacing parts over and over again. That's yep. what you've invested in. And I was actually talking to one of your colleagues. Some people in these slides will use some sort of balls or ball bearings, and, that, and this is just exactly. a flat, really nice slide, so it's always smooth and it's just gonna repeat yep. over and over and over again. Yeah, exactly. One of the details here are also the oil pockets where we bring our hydraulic oil in and have here yeah, that smooth effect what you have seen, Tony. And, and you're exactly right. When you do the oil pockets, it's these, it's these attention to detail that matters so much for the audience, right? For yeah, everyone who's exactly. investing in an index machine, this is where it comes in. And something I learned, and I had no idea, but that's the brilliance that comes from index is the way this is set up and the way the multi-spindles work and the accuracy and the, the small amount of travel that goes into it and the fact that it's a part moving, moving, moving the entire time, it actually gives you a substantially more tool life to your machining process because think about it, on a single spindle, and you know this, Dennis, as well, on a single spindle, you're rotating in, rotating out, moving the tool in and out, and the same principle of what's happening here, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, that actually reduces tool life. Something like this is gonna increase not just your productivity, but overall saving costs, and that's why we invest in companies like Index, right, Dennis? Exact, that's nothing more to say, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> this is exactly how we should close it out as well, right? I think we have seen a lot. We have seen a lot. For everyone watching, this is my friend Dennis. I did finally corral him to be on camera, but I like talking yeah. with you, Dennis. So I hope fight. we can do it again. <laughs> it was a hard fight, but we got him so we could get the information to you. I think that's very important because not everyone gets to travel around the world to see these things firsthand. And we have the pleasure to broadcast that to the audience watching. Thank you all for watching. Give my buddy Dennis a shout. We are in Germany at Index and we do appreciate your time.